The law of truth was in his mouth. No dishonesty was found on his lips. He walked with me in integrity and peace and turned many away from evil. And today is the feast of St. Irenaeus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant we pray through his intercession that being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and concord. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. From Mamre, the men set out and arrived within sight of Sodom with the Abraham accompanying them to show them the way. Now the Lord had wondered, shall I conceal from Abraham what I am going to do, seeing that Abraham will become a great nation with all the nations of the earth blessing themselves by him. For I have singled him out to command his sons and his household after him to maintain the way of the Lord by just and upright living. In this way, the Lord will carry out for Abraham what he has promised him. Then the Lord said, How great an outcry there is against Sodom and Gomorrah! How grievous is their sin! I propose to go down and see whether or not they have done all that is alleged in the outcry against them that has come up to me. I am determined to know. The men left there and went to Sodom, while Adam remained standing before the Lord. Approaching him, he said, Are you really going to destroy the just man with the sinner? Perhaps there are 50 just men in the town. Will you really overwhelm them? Will you not spare the place for the 50 just men in it? Do not think of doing such a thing, to kill the just man with the sinner, treating just and sinner alike. Do not think of it. Will the judge of the whole earth not administer justice? The Lord replied, If at Sodom I find fifty just men in the town, I will spare the whole place because of them. Abraham replied, I am bold indeed to speak like this to my Lord, I who am dust and ashes. But perhaps the fifty just men lack five. Will you destroy the whole city for five? No, he replied, I will not destroy it if I find forty-five just men there. Again Abraham said to him, Perhaps there will only be forty there. I will not do it, he replied, for the sake of the forty. Abraham said, I trust my Lord will not be angry, but give me leave to speak. Perhaps there will only be thirty there. I will not do it, he replied, 
if I find 30 there. He said, I am bold indeed to speak like this. Perhaps there will only be 20 there. I will not do it. He replied for the sake of the 20. He said, I trust my Lord will not be angry if I speak once more. Perhaps there will only be 10. I will not destroy it, he replied, for the sake of the ten. When he had finished talking to Abraham, the Lord went away and Abraham returned home. The word of the Lord. The response is, the Lord is compassion and love. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, all my being, bless his holy name. My soul, give thanks to the Lord, and never forget all his blessings. It is he who forgives all your guilt, who heals every one of your ills, who redeems your life from the grave, who crowns you with love and compassion. The Lord is compassion and love, slow to anger and rich in mercy. His wrath will come to an end. He will not be angry forever. The Lord is compassion and love. He does not treat us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our faults. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so strong is his love for those who fear him. And the light of the world, says the Lord, anyone who follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the great crowds all about him, he gave orders to leave for the other side. One of the scribes then came up and said to him, Master, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another man, one of his disciples, said to him, Sir, let me go and bury my father first. But Jesus replied, Follow me and leave the dead to bury their dead. The Gospel of the Lord. As we rejoice to share with St. Irenaeus the faith that he professed at so high a cost, let us turn our thoughts and prayers to the needs of all people, that the Church may be united and courageously presenting to the world the good news of freedom from sin and death, Lord, hear us. That world leaders might be inspired to set their hearts not on power but on every opportunity for service of the weak and oppressed. Lord, hear us. For the churches that persecution forces into silence, that their faith too may grow in silence. Lord, hear us. I remember those who feel there is nothing worth living or fighting for, that on them Christ may shed a ray of his light to dispel their gloom and warm their indifference into love. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our own intentions.
Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have died. We remember Patrick Rogers and Malachi Marley, whose anniversaries are today. We pray for Sean Campbell, whose uh, funeral arrangements will be later, who died on Saturday. And Gerald Lappin uh, of Rosemount, formerly of Cordrain Tandrigi, who died yesterday. Funeral mass tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock in Mullaville. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Lord our God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to greater endeavour in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our, the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrifice we offer you with joy on the heavenly birthday of St. Irenaeus bring you glory, O Lord, and instill in us a love of the truth so that we may keep the Church's faith inviolate and her unity secure through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, <clears throat> and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, 
he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Irenaeus, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Eamon our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign 
forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. As usual, I will begin to distribute communion to those in this block of seats here. When I have finished and there may be a gap between the two, then I will distribute here. Meanwhile, the Minister of the Eucharist will take care of both sides beginning this side.
I would say a, a prayer with the people at home who might be tuning in. For the dis, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the Bishop St. Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring to us who truly follow it justification in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and stay safe.